Right, welcome back to the kitchen and today we're doing noodles. But these are uh, special noodles because we got them at a reasonable price. These were like a dollar each and uh, they were over two bucks normally. Got them from um, Coles. Uh, this is Mrs. Max, she's going to have the green curry. Yeah. Then we also got um, the shrimp flavoured. Yeah. I'm going full on bogan having a chicken. <laughs> but they're really easy. Uh, the, the stand of what you do is you put them in boiling water and uh, leave them sit for three minutes and then you got them. So that's that. But we are having leftovers. And what we've got from last night's tea, we've got some um, chicken, fried chicken, and beans, broad beans, and gravy. Now this gravy isn't chicken gravy, it's your, it's your, um, your Aldi roast gravy. So it's not even chicken. I don't care. It's leftovers. This is what we do. So that was last night's tea. It's going in the microwave for maybe a minute to heat it up. And we'll use it with the, the noodles and we'll see how we get on. While we're waiting for the water to boil, We'll run the Yucca app over our uh, noodles. And we've got Mama Oriental Style Instant Noodles at 36% and pour. As soon as the water boils, we'll shove our Mama chicken flavoured noodles and the ingredients, the, the seasoning, in the water. All right, the water is starting to boil. And we'll cut the thing off. There we go. So all it is is uh, that. We've seen that before, haven't we? Yep. Whack that in. And a lot of this other stuff I don't use. That one there is palm oil. Don't use it. This one has chili powder on that side. I'm not using that either. Got something else we're going to chuck in. But this is the the chicken uh, section, the ingredients, I think. Yeah, it is. All right, we're throwing that in. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't hit the broad side of a barn, could I? There we go. Might give that a little bit of a stir. I've probably gone a bit early. The water wasn't really bubbling, but I don't care. It's going to boil in a sec, and it's going to be all right. Okay, the water's boiling, so we'll just uh, grab a lid, turn it off, and let it sit for three minutes, and we'll come back. There we go. For the last minute of the three-minute period, which we let that sit there for... I left the, I put the leftovers, or left the putovers, whichever way you want to say it, in the microwave for 60 seconds. It looks like they're doing well. Now, the question is, the quandary, what do you put in first? Do you put the leftovers in or do you put the noodles? I'm going to go with the noodles. I'm going to drain those a bit too because they look a bit brothy, you know what I mean? So we don't want that much, but we want a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll drain the noodles and put them in a bowl and then we'll throw the, uh, that is a sauce sort of thing over the top. Here we go. What did I do with the lid? I know I had it, here it is, I got it. All right, here we go. And we're going to throw the noodles in. Oh yes, looking good. Safety first, put some water in. Just a bit and we'll stick it there because that's a hot element right there. Okay, now we have the leftovers from last night. Oh yeah. Mrs. Mac is such a good cook. She really is and this is going to taste great. And I have a little secret weapon because I didn't do the chilli. I didn't throw the chili in there so 
we'll get up here and do a taste test. And as you can see, I've been having a little bit of a manjani here because one thought forgot to press the record button. Duh. So here we are. I've already tasted it and I'm giving it an 11 out of 10 for taste and value too, like a dollar's worth of, of noodles. And instead of Frank's Red Hot, I actually stuck some Tabasco in there this time. I was in the, the sauce aisle and thought, well, we're a bit low on Frank's. Actually, we're running out. So I thought, touch of Tabasco, and it did the trick. Absolutely gorgeous, and it's just the best. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> no, that's good, especially with the chicken, the beans, and the gravy. <laughs> You'd expect a roast gravy not to mesh with the chicken and everything, and it does. It just works. And a touch of Tabasco always helps. As I said, 11 out of 10, fantastic. And good value, good value, tastes great too. And it helps use the the leftovers from last night. And that's that's what we do if we, we don't eat everything in one. What do you do? Do you do the same? Do you keep the leftovers for lunch the following day? Do you, let me know. But this is fantastic. I love it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And hit that notification bell and the all word that comes up. And uh, it'll help us out a lot. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you in our next video. We'll see you then.